in the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! We called film Little Pieces of Time. Everybody I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive. Much less Kate. Hey, Bunny. Don't be too bummed, but from now on, I'm your new mommy. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Come on, Max. No more tears. 
You have to act, not react. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... So much hypocrite. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth, and somebody pays for this. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Dana's really hurting over this. Dana looks so sad, even though she's trying not to show it. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate, and if this is my fault, too. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. It's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Send 
Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Those boots are made for walking runways. I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Well, well, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. I hope Kate finally has her wings now. I bet she'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Nobody can blame this poster for Kate's death. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped.
I can. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I hope I can believe you, Max. I'm my own person, too. See you later. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. It's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools.
The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Nobody can expel me. Not yet. Anyway. Smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Nuts and bolts, <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but... God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I... I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. If 
It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Mm -hmm. 